But even now, what's about to happen? This is me being reasonable. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, in this video, we're going to be unboxing a Marvel Inflectable. Uh, it, it was a limited Marvel Inflectable, and it's from Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Just came out two weeks ago. I went and watched it this past weekend. Very good movie. Uh, it's also going to be reviewed for the movie as well. Before I unbox it, I wanted to talk about the movie and stuff, but. Maybe it was really good, honestly. It wasn't what I expected. But in a good way. Pretty good. Um, warning. Uh, there's about to be spoilers of the movie. So, uh, skip past this to the unboxing if you don't want to hear any spoilers. But, anyways, maybe it was pretty good. Um, when I first started out, I was kind of confused what was going on. Kind of because they introduced a character that we didn't know about yet. Her name was, I think her name's America Chavo. I don't know about her last name. But she, apparently, she's a girl that can travel to other universes in the multiverse. That's like her power. She can travel to other universes and stuff. And in the beginning of the movie, she couldn't control it. And honestly, it was a cool concept. Pretty good. But, uh, the, and alternate Doctor Strange from another universe was helping her. And he, but, uh, he decided he was going to try to take her powers before she escaped. By, because when she gets scared, a portal, a portal opens to another universe. So she got scared when he was contacting her powers and she fell through the portal into the MCU universe, like, of, of our Doctor Strange and all that. And she ends up into our Doctor Strange as a monster is attacking her and trying to uh, take her out. And Doctor Strange helps her and stops that. But anyways, pretty good movie. Um, one character I expect to be in the movie was Scarlet Witch. And man, she was so badass in that movie. She was amazing. Spoiler, she was the anti-villain. Um, she was behind everything. Uh, attacking America, Chavo, and trying to take her powers because she was wanting to get to a universe where her children were real. Her arc kind of takes, it takes up after the show WandaVision. So, and, Doctor, and she, she also attacked Doctor Strange because Doctor Strange was trying to stop her plans of reuniting with her children in another universe. Even though they weren't her, her own children, in a sense. But, it was pretty good. I'm not going to spoil the whole movie. Um, uh, I would probably give it maybe... Maybe 9 out of 10. 8 out of 10. Maybe even 10 out of 10. I don't know. It was pretty good. But, uh, yeah. Almost every Marvel movie I see in theaters is good. Like, they're smashing DC right now. DC... Every movie I've seen in DC so far was trash. It wasn't that good. The only really good DC movies I've seen so far was Joker from 2018. What's 2018? Which one? No, I think it was 2019. But Joker and, uh... What, what, what was the other one? I forgot who the... Shazam! That's what it was. It's pretty good. But anyways... Let's get to, let's get to the unboxing. And I'll uh, do this. Oh, I, I need to get a knife to cut that open. Alright. So, this collectible. Oh, if I, can, if I can get it open. This collectible is an object from the movie. It is an object that uh, Scarlet Witch slash Wanda wears. It's a rabbit cup. Now, world, now this, it's just going for a display. I got it because I love collecting everything Marvel and everything superheroes. It's going to be put on my, put on my uh, display. Because I, as you guys, if you guys have watched any one week of vlogs, anything like that, I have a big shelf full of nerdy stuff, full of replicas, uh, pop figures, and all of that. Special and figures and all that. Let's get 
cook. All right, so here it is. I'm probably gonna, uh, okay. Oh, I can get this out. Get out of here. All right. I want, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show it from a different angle. So I want to end this clip. And it should be that stuff. But also, this what I'm about to show you. This thing is a limited edition. I think it's about eight to six hundred of them. So if you want one, I'd advise you to hurry up get one quick. Uh, I got it from GameStop. I got it off the website. Right now, I think it's only on the website. I'm not sure if there's any in stores right now. You could check. But uh, I'm gonna end this clip and show you guys in another point of view of it. So uh, let's get to it. All right, guys, let's open this baby up. It's so, like I said earlier, it's from Doctor Strange: Multiverse of Madness. This is also I think I said this earlier too as well. This is a headpiece that uh, Wanda slash Scarlet Witch wore in the movie, and. I wanted it. I saw like GameStop uh, tweeted about it, and they tweeted a video of them unboxing it. You know, beautiful. I wanted to get it, but uh, let's get into this. And honestly, one of those my, my favorite superhero, uh, female superhero of all time. She's badass. She's also my favorite anti-villain. That's what she was in Dead Strange Mother vs. Madness. But let's get to this. I got a light set up right here. This time I'm gonna corner right, corner right on my uh, shelf full of all of my replicas and nerd stuff. Let's get to this. Let's open her up. Look at that. That's beautiful. Here. Look at that, guys. This. This something's big on here. Look at this. Gotcha. It says, Certificate of Authenticity. This document, it, okay, I don't, it's hard for me to see. Um, let's see, let's put it right here, see if it'll work. It's kind of hard to read this light. I need, I need to get a better light for my room here. But, uh, you know what? Let's see my phone light. It'd be a lot better to read and look at my phone light. Certificate of Authenticity. This document is charged by that the Scarlet Witch tiara was inspired by the tiara worn by Wanda Maximoff in Marvel's Studios, Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. These officially licensed items were manufactured by the licensed sales zone LLC. This is number 500, no 500, 5,585 of 8,500. So there's only 8,500 of them. And it lasted 86. I uh, said it kind of wrong, but yeah, let's get back to it. It sounds like back on here. Look at that thing. It's kind of beautiful. It's kind of hard to see with this light. I'm using a headlamp because I need I need to get better lights in my room. I mean, let's see how my big light work. Eh, yeah. a little bit better, not too much better here. I definitely need to get some more battle lights for my unboxings and stuff. But, here it is. There it is. Pretty cool, huh? So, what's your... It's awesome man, Marvel 2, I thought it was going to be made of plastic, honestly. Pretty cool. But yeah, it's been unboxing. Get out of here. Get 
can get a picture of it like you know than that. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Well, I love this. I love the uh, cars and stuff in my collection. I think it looks pretty good. But, uh, yeah, that's the unboxing right there. Yeah, bright light. But yeah, that's the unboxing right there. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, no, it wasn't too much. But, uh, stay tuned for the next one. Also, for in this video, well, I have an announcement. <laughs> it's still, this is still in the works. But in July, on July, I think, 8th, 8th or the 9th, it's, it's going to be a Saturday, I think, a Saturday most likely. But me, Josh, Kyla, and Chris, which, you have, which you've seen, you've seen him in the Summer Mansion vid. Um, he's going to come with us as well. We're going to be going to the old Franklin Jail in PA. It's not too far from Gettysburg, but we have that in the works right now. I'll keep you guys updated what's going on and if it's going to happen or not. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. And uh, peace.